The HDR Sun & Sky Kit for Modo is a comprehensive outdoor lighting solution that can take care of just about any situation you can think of. It's a little bit like the Sun & Sky system that comes natively with Modo or with a package such as V-Ray or Octane, except it's a million times better. And why is it a million times better? Well, unlike the algorithmic Sun & Sky systems that let you have a bright sun in a blue sky, this system also comes with clouds. So you can have a bright sun in a blue sky, if that's what you want, but you also have an additional 10 different levels of cloud cover. So you can go all the way from just a slightly cloudy sky to fully overcast and everything in between. So let's see the kit in action. I'm going to go to my kits button and I'm going to locate my HDR Sun and Sky kit, which is this one here with the cloud and the sun. I'm gonna click on it to open a preset browser and I'm going to double click on the preset to load it. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the kit loads really fast. Behind the scenes, there's over 200 images driving this kit, but they are not loaded into the scene when you load the kit. So if I expand the environment, you can see in fact there's only one image in there. The kit is in fact being streamed off disk, which means that when you load it, it doesn't consume a lot of memory and it doesn't slow Modo down to a crawl. So when you load the kit, you'll find a yellow control locator in your scene. Click on that and it will bring up some controls. And let's take a look in preview to see what things look like. So this is the sky at default settings, and you can see we have a little bit of cloud cover, but with the controls we can change just about anything we want. So I'm going to rotate the sky to change the direction of the light, and go for something a bit more backlit. And that, I think, is giving me really nice results. But I can change the height of the sun, so I can take it closer to the horizon. Or further up in the sky. So I have complete control over the time of day. I can go all the way from sunrise or sunset to an equatorial midday sun. Let me just reduce the brightness so we can see that a little bit more clearly. But let's bring the sun back down to something a little more pleasing. And I've also reset the brightness to default. And let's take a look at the cloud cover. So you can go all the way from a completely pure blue sky to having just the odd, occasional, little fluffy cloud. And then obviously, as you increase the cloud cover, you'll get more clouds in the sky. But they stay consistent, so you could actually animate this if you wanted. Just gradually increase the cloud cover till you get more and more all the way to like a fully overcast sky. And here, I'd increase the brightness just to have a slightly better exposure. So as you can see, this system is just incredibly versatile. You can get tremendous amounts of variation simply by changing the amount of cloud cover, the direction of the light, and the height of the sun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and play with the controls just to show you some of the options that you can achieve really quickly with this kit. There's a huge amount of variety here. This kit essentially allows you to art direct outdoor lighting to get any result that you want. So moving on, the final set of controls we have here are the locator controls, which I'll just enable now. These work just like they do in my instant lighting kit. And once you enable the locator controls, you'll see an additional locator appears around the original control locator. And if you click on that, it's going to open the locator controls panel. And here you can position and scale the locator so that it's convenient to use in your scene. So as well as outdoor lighting, you can also use the HDR Sun & Sky Kit for ArchViz because it's great for creating realistic natural light coming through a window. And of course, with all these controls, you can set it to any time of day or any kind of weather. And you can also use it for animations. So I'll conclude the video with a short time-lapse animation that I made using the kit. Thank you very much for watching.